while, back at the turnoff, Linda is offered a ride to town. She doesn't like the look of it, four people too much alike. A typical trap, she accepts. Go for it, Linda, good luck. Well, here's a cute little thing, just came out of the toilet, and she appears to be alone, a maiden in distress. Madam, my name is unimportant, and this is my wife, whose name is unimportant and are too lovely. Children whose names are unimportant. We are the unimportant family, but we are a family, nevertheless, and that is our charm. You appear to be alone, the victim of circumstances, circumstances of your own creation, according to one point of view, or not according to another. And we can offer you a right to town. You apparently have been deserted. It happens all the time, really. Especially here, this is the perfect place. The desert, the lack of public telephones, that cosmic feeling of our singular relationship to God, and the feeling of detachment from the things of the world, they just drive away. Sometimes one, sometimes the other. Maybe it's no more than who has the keys, and of course, that madness that comes to each of us so suddenly. We come here all the time. We live in a nearby town with telephones, radios, airplanes, the works, and they're burdened with the works. We have a hard time seeing, so we come here all the time. First, of course, the reason was the vista. Pale purplish blues and pale violets at sunset, the gleaming stars at midnight, while yellows reflected off the morning rocks and at midday, the blast of whiteness that wore off, of course. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Then among all the stage business, we began to see the drama. Finally, accustomed to the light, we began to see the drama. The children enjoy it. My wife packs a picnic lunch. I clean up the van, which is what we call our vehicle leaving room always.